To go into the king's court without being summoned was punishable with death. Now Esther made the decision to put her life on the line to try to help her people. So three days later, Esther put on her royal gown and entered the inner court. Would the king welcome her or would he execute her? The king held out his gold scepter to let her enter his presence. What is your request, my queen? He asked. Esther responded, If it please the king, let your majesty and Haman come to a special banquet I have prepared. The banquet was arranged, and the king asked Esther once again what she wanted. I would like the king and Haman to come to another banquet tomorrow. At that time, I will explain everything. Haman was delighted the king and queen had included him in their inner circle. The only thing that upset him was that as he left the palace, Mordecai refused to bow down to him. One of Haman's friends spoke up. Go and build a gallows that stands 75 feet tall tonight, and in the morning you can ask the king to hang Mordecai. So that night, Haman ordered the gallows to be built. Meanwhile, the king could not sleep and asked for the records of his reign to be read to him. The account of how Mordecai exposed the assassination plot of two palace guards was read, and the king realized he had not rewarded Mordecai for his loyalty. The next morning, Haman arrived at the palace to ask the king to hang Mordecai. But the king spoke first. What should be done for a man that pleases me? Thinking that he was going to be honored, Haman suggested, bring out one of the king's royal robes and the king's own horse. Instruct one of the king's most noble men to place the robe on the honored person and then lead him through the city square announcing, this is what happens to the man the king wishes to honor. That's a great idea, said the king. I want you to go and do all of this for Mordecai the Jew. Now Haman was totally humiliated as he had to lead Mordecai through the streets shouting his praise. That evening the king and Haman went to the banquet that Queen Esther had prepared for them. After a while the king asked Esther, so what is it you want? Please spare me and my people, Esther begged. A decree has been sent out to kill me and my people. Who would dare touch you? The king demanded. It is the evil Haman, my lord. He is our enemy. Haman grew very pale because of his fright. He did not know Esther was a Jew. The king jumped to his feet in a rage and stormed into the palace garden. Haman begged Esther for mercy, but fell on the couch where Esther was reclining. Just at that moment, the king returned and shouted, Will this evil man even assault the queen right before my very eyes? Guards were called to arrest Haman. Then the king ordered that he be hanged on the very gallows he had prepared for Mordecai. The story was not over, however. The decree that Haman issued was sealed with the same ring of the king. No one could overrule the law of the Medes and Persians, not even the king himself. So the date was still set for the annihilation of all the Jews. Mordecai was promoted to be prime minister in Haman's place. Mordecai was smart. He wasn't able to stop Haman's law into going into effect but he was able to make a new law 
that said all the Jews could band together and fight to protect their families. The new law was signed with the king's ring. The Jews prepared to defend themselves. On the day set for them to be killed, anyone who attacked them was defeated, including Haman's sons. The fighting went into a second day, but the Jews were victorious. Mordecai sent out a decree that these two days should be celebrated every year with a large festival and gifts given to each other and to the poor. The Jews agreed to celebrate the festival of Purim every year and have done so every year since. If you have some free time in the coming days, feel free to watch the VeggieTales clip, Veggie Tales clip over the story of Esther. If you watched part of it last week, you can begin this video at the 16 minute and nine second mark. If you're wanting a further study of Esther, feel free to visit this web link, scan the QR code, either one will take you to a link 